Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, where we are about to start Chapter 16. I am Hailstorm, and we are going to get through this. We are close to the end. I can feel it. I have to be really careful with what I say because I'm trying so hard not to spoil it for my wife, <laughs> who's been in the background but is also watching the series, so I have to be careful with the things that I say. Um, but let's just jump right in. Dixon! Why? I, old man! Are you completely out of your mind? Ah, don't you kids ever shut up. I'm just doing my job, as always. You right? used to be so cool. Who are you? It... It's you. Wait. It's who? <gasps> yes. Now you remember. It's been a long time. Hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. Huh? Zanza's disciple. <gasps> Zanza's disciple? What? Eggle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with your own eyes. Oh no! The moment of Lord Zanza's return! Choke! Get away from him! No! Ah! Zanza! I won't let you do this! Do not be surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. As all that exists is interconnected, time can flow only towards the inevitable. He kind of looks like Alvis. That is the vision what? of which I, the Monado, am the origin. That which will be, will be. This was all predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ose Tower. In those ruins? But well, what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? Who happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk! Jackpot! It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What?! My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I'd be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead! That's impossible! We grew up together! You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. <laughs> Call that corpse a friend. Don't make me laugh. Oh, so sad. Use Shulk. 
What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then, Shulk's ability to use the Monado... And those visions that he used to save us. All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high entier fool. And that grunt Gado's miserable demise. All of it. You evil... Yeah! Ah! <sighs> There's more. Thanks. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Maynath, the Maconis! <gasps> Not again! The Bionis! They're just gonna repeat history. Bionis moves! I've been waiting. Waiting for this day. Zanza! Brother! Stop! You're too weak! I don't care. I will gladly sacrifice myself to eliminate Zanza. As long as he lives, there can be no peace for us or for the people of Bionis. Ha! Then, then you shall, shall cease, cease to, to exist, exist by the, the wrath, wrath of my blade. blade. What the heck is that? The Monado. I mean, kind of. I'll show you the meaning of wrath. Is a side meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right now, yeah. How could you do this? It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me, and it shall be returned. Nope. Oh. <laughs> so you have finally unleashed your Monado. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. I finally understand. The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided. 
I will teach you the strength of their will to resist. Zanza, if you choose to deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right! We won't let you erase everyone's futures! This battle is mine, Maynard! <laughs> oh no! Okay, guess we're going! <laughs> Oh snap, I don't even know what to do here. Oh, well good, I'm glad you do. Is that all you've got? Should have started with power down. Is that all you've got? Is that all you've got? Is that all you You are a pathetic excuse for a god! Oh snap! How dare you! Is that all you've got? <laughs> Hurry! I want to use my art. Oh, I keep missing. Why? Why do I keep missing? Oh, she's so dead. <gasps> oh, some DBZ action going on there. Something wrong. Is this the height of your skill? You call yourself a god. And you talk of sharing this world with me! <laughs> so that's why the dead boy is important to you. The homes are nothing but bacteria clinging to my body. They are living beings. If you cannot understand this, you have no right to call yourself a god. And who decides that? A god. Because only a god may decide. This world only needs one god, Maynard. May you rot in that shell for all eternity! <gasps> Fiora! Face me like a god! If not, then say goodbye to your putrid friends! Zanza! Maynard! Such a fool. This is what I wish. This world... Belongs to you all. Create a world. With no need for gods. Is the passage of fate. No way. Now he has two? Zenza, disappear! He's gone. And things ain't looking good for us. <laughs> Let it begin. The ceremony of destruction 
Snap! The poor high end tier people. your feelings leave it to us we know what we must do we will do all we can for the people of Maconis. now go shulk can still be saved do not let the last glimmer of hope be extinguished Negil. go in peace let's go we're leaving the Maconis. Ryan, take care of Shulk. Got it. Ah, oh, you okay? Yes. Whew. Good. It still works. Wow. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the central factory. Let's go. Dundon, what about Egil? He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone! Goodbye, my brother. That's so sad. After all that happened... Okay, so who do we want in the party now? Um... I was kind of thinking. Yeah, let's do this. All right, back to junks we go. The Apocrypha Generator. Oh, these are the swinging arm things on the sides of this path. I just realized that. And they're all broken. Okay. Um, oh, man. Maybe I just should have warped. Maybe I still can. Watch this. Oh, it won't let me. Okay. Never mind. We have to take the long way. Taking the scenic route. Ran right off the edge there. <laughs> oh, but I just want the collectible. Oof. She almost fell right off. Somebody else must have fallen. <laughs> Probably Melia. <laughs> Yep. We're good, we're good. Okay. At least we don't have to fight anybody here.
loving the music too. Ventilation conduit, okay. Almost, almost. Oh, hey, let's take a quest. <laughs> Heard from Banana there's a weapon production machine here. Do you know what came to mind when I heard that? Please tell me more. Like you have problems too. <laughs> we'll sit and talk later, okay? Stop pretending you don't know what I'm getting at. You can make a weapon, an extraordinarily strong one. The materials are all ready. Just take them to machine and you can make a weapon for Fiora. A new weapon will come in handy. Are you interested? Wow. No need to thank me. It's the least I can do. I mean, yeah, I kind of want to do it. Mm -hmm. We have to do it now. It's a timed one, which means I'm not going to be able to do it much longer. So, set it as active. And then... I do this. Show me the way to go. What's well, kind of a bummer is I can't uh, can't teleport now. Hmm. Well, it'll at least show me which way to go, which is good. Man, I should have checked for this quest before. I mean, was the guy even there, or is this all part of? You know, what's happening now in the story. That's what I don't know. Maybe it's... It shouldn't be too late. It would be marked as, uh... As too late on the quest, I would think. Also, I want to get this collectible. too late. Look, I can't go through there anymore. Well, that kind of stinks, doesn't it? Oh, what a waste of time. Bummer. Let's go, let's go! We have to escape. Shall we go back to the village? Yes. Stubborn mortals. So desperate to cling to your pathetic lives. Even when there is no hope for you!
for both our worlds. You must succeed. Lady Maynard. No, thank you. What a shame. Telethia. It's Telethia. Uh, not you're Dixon. not getting away. Dixon! Listen, it's over. Time for you all to return to the Bionis. Nice and quietly. That's enough! Why, Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you! Dixon! Don't let Zanza control you! Wake up! You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this. Ever since long before any of you lot were born. Oh, I hate you. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Eagle said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple, Dixon of the Trinity! Well, Dixon of the Trinity, you're gonna die! Get him! Ah, so this one's double blades though and where I need to do it from behind. Okay, cool. <laughs> nope. Oh wow. What level was that? I didn't even see. Seventy. Oh no. Oh, I can still go elsewhere, it looks like. No, can't go there. Landmarks unavailable. Is everything unavailable? We are stuck here, folks. Hmm. Well, I kind of want Ryan so he can fight for his friends. And... There's a really awesome looking... Yeah, we'll go with that one. That's fine. <laughs> Glasses, resort style, huh? Hmm. I never considered him to be the glasses wearing type. Let's go with the middle type. For Shulk! Yeah! We're gonna do it. He's gonna fight in his name. Whew, this one's way better. Give him some strength up. He's got the Taurus helm. He's got the Taurus plate. Hmm. Actually, those are better than Taurus arms. And 100 Greaves. It's just a little better. Okay, what about him? Oh, he's got nothing. Yeah, I better just make sure these guys are <laughs> all equipped. Let's bring it back to the good old plane type, huh? I mean, is this even changing anything? Oh, it's changing his actual backpack. There we go. There's a motley crew. Oh, 
I wonder if we get him like halfway down if it'll stop the fight. Maybe. Oh, missing too much. I can't do anything. Killer Sky, oh my goodness. That's the one that knocked me out last time, isn't it? <gasps> you waste of space. Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast. You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? <sighs> Who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you alright? Brother! Kalyan! Dixon! He works for the Bionis! He shot Shulk in the back! Is this true? Dixon? This ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havrez squadron. You cannot win! Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right? Lorathea? Lorathea? Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness, your naivety is quite charming, but it is also your undoing. <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. Oh no. What? I knew she what was up to something. Light? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> What do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't. Lorothea! Awaken, my darling pets! <laughs> Snap. Oh no. Lorothea! Let him go! You misunderstand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself! It's just like she says. The High Entia are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why. You are our only hope! Brother? Whatever. We won't be needing a half-breed like you anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a Telethia, it just means you're gonna get crushed by one. That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pet. Do my bidding! Kill your lovely sister! <laughs> Our people, the burden meant for you. 
brings a tear to my eye. Oh, dear. These moments are to be treasured. <laughs> He's gonna turn on to them. Nice, Callian. Brother! Melia! Father's wish and the future of the High Entia are in your hands. Yours and Shulk's! <gasps> Telethia! Destroy him! Dixon! I got it! Too late! Damn him! That's so sad. How tragic. And just like that, <laughs> we are into chapter 17. Crazy, crazy. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to strike that like button and hit subscribe so you can stay tuned for the next episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. We will catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace.